I don't actually remember what happened. All I remember is riding and it was raining. And now I'm in here. How did I do that? Yeah. So that was six months ago, it's actually seven months ago now and yeah it was pretty bad at the time. Um, I was in hospital for four days and it was a subdural haematoma which basically means a bleed on the brain and that happened because um, the guy in front of me didn't see a pothole, he went down, I came pretty fast crashing down afterwards and the, took the brunt of the force on my head but then I was told that I wouldn't be able to ride a bike for six months and obviously having like the physical element of it and then being told that I was just it was just really really hard um and yeah I felt pretty sad about it because I wanted to train for this specific event that's going to be coming up um yeah so that was seven months ago and I just wanted to share like some things that I've learned in that time in case you are like either have like lost some fitness or you're coming back from an injury obviously I can't talk medically but I can just share the things that I learned because today I've just come out for a little ride to do my last almost like little prep ride on my bike so I've set it all up for this ultra um event that I've got coming up tomorrow so excited for it um because I guess throughout this whole time when I was sad that I wouldn't be able to get back on my bike I just thought I just want to be able to do this event and that was always like my goal and I didn't I didn't know whether I'd be able to do it because obviously they said you won't be able to ride for six months but I got back way way sooner I'm so happy right now I am riding my bike outside again I'm currently the most unfit I've pretty much ever been you are wanting to do like a big day or a big ride I always just ride steady and then if I've got any energy, I just push it a bit at the end. But during it, I'm just like, just take it steady. But yeah, I'm just going to share a few things now that I that I learned along the way. Um, so the first thing is that fitness fluctuates all the time, whether you're injured or not. And it's not as devastating as you think. So I think if people think if they have a week off the bike, they're going to lose loads of fitness. And it just doesn't work like that. I think I had, I must have had a month. Um, literally not doing literally anything I think I just was like spinning the pedals um, but yeah it just it does come back just don't be really hard on yourself if you have to take some time off the bike especially for an injury because this leads me on to the next point is just don't rush back because if you rush your body then it's just going to take longer overall to be able to I guess build the fitness back up because when I started my heart rate was just so much higher even just doing really really basic things um, on the bike and as frustrating as that was I knew that I just had to just let my body recover rest um, and it would get better over time which it has the next one is and I guess this was it's helped me I guess generally is and I think a lot of us can identify with this i think in cycling a lot of us get really like tunnel vision of like cycling everything is everything and when i wasn't able to cycle i was like oh what do i do now for like my fun like exercise um and so i did a lot more walking um i did a lot more yoga and i just did things that weren't obviously cycling focused and i think that gave me a better balance and i think that's i'm gonna do more of that this year i'm still gonna do in loads of bike stuff but i think i should and want to be able to do stuff that's a bit more balanced if that makes sense next tip is let yourself have like days when you feel a little bit sad and you feel a bit frustrated um but don't dwell on it so i had days where i just felt like really really miserable about it because i guess cycling is everything like i love it and not being able to do it and then having that injury it was tough but equally I then looked for things that I was grateful for. So a lot of people that have a subdural hematoma have to have their um, skull drilled to, I guess, relieve the pressure of the blood and the bleed on the brain. I didn't have to have that. So I was just like, well, I'm grateful for that. Um, and I'm grateful that it wasn't worse. So always try and look for, like, it's okay to feel down, but then try and look for the positives as well and things that you, you're grateful for. And one of the other things that I was really grateful for was just how much 
like kindness people I don't know give you when you're in like a bit of a bit of a pickle people were just so nice a lot of you especially just the comments were just so lovely and family and friends and it was just amazing so look for the positives the other thing which is more of a practical thing that I learn is that I don't necessarily sit close behind someone's wheel on a ride for example that I don't know or that I don't trust um that just comes with experience I mean I I still, even with people that I know really well and, and trust, I still sit a little bit further back than I would have done in the past. I think when you go on group rides, you just you just put all your trust in, in the person in front. And yeah, I think I'm a little bit more cautious now. God, those geese are loud, aren't they? I'm just grateful for like having been able to ride. And yeah, I was saying, I think before I was a little bit more like, I still am a little bit like I guess the training side of it like numbers and things like I want to get myself fitter but it just made me think I just want to be able to get out on my bike and ride and that was just so oh, I just I like I I treasure it more now I think I'm a lot more grateful for it um, and so even though I guess in winter like talking about just going back to my ultra now tomorrow I I did miss out on like a big go back to numbers again uh, but I did miss out on like a huge training like period in winter where I wasn't able to do anything so even just to be able to get to the start line tomorrow I'm just, just made up with so you will see um, how I got on next week in the meantime if you're missing some of my videos um, I've done like loads of different playlists there's like an endurance playlist so go and have a look through that if you want something to watch um, over the bank holiday if you're in the UK I will see you all next week after the ultra Eek. I'm, I'm nervous I'm excited I'm just I just like again I just cannot wait just to get up to the start line and just start riding this thing because I honestly didn't think that I'd be able to do it so yeah even just getting started I'm just really grateful for so thank you so much for watching also thank you for the amazing lovely kind comments on the 100,000 um, subscriber video if I ever, I, I'm going to go back and try and reply to everybody, but if ever I'm feeling a little bit low, I'll just go and watch, go and go and look at the comments because you are just such nice people. I can't honestly thank you enough. You're just so kind to me and just lovely. So it makes it just such a, a pleasure to be able to make videos and I'm just so glad that you enjoy what I'm doing. So I'm going to stop waffling. I'm going to go and look at the geeses. And I will see you next video. Goodbye. Wish me luck. Oh, God. Um, so, oh, hi. It's a man coming. I'll just stop talking because I feel a bit awkward. Hi. Hello. Hello.